All right, today we're looking at the Ultra X4 1600 watt power supply. That's right, 1600 watts. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, brand spanking new. The X4 line of power supplies, Ultra is like kicking it up a notch rather than being like the, the middle of the line kind of PSU. Now they're going for the high end. They want to make stuff that's absolutely incredible. This is a 1600 watt PSU. Insane. Uh, I don't know why anyone needs it. Look at the box it's in. It's actually heavy because it's got so much stuff in here, and it's a huge box. Uh, 1600 watts is basically going to be for the extreme, extreme, extreme overclocker. Um, if you have uh, really nasty multiple video cards, you're doing extreme, extreme overclocking using liquid nitrogen, liquid helium, you know, cascade, dry ice, any of that kind of stuff. Not even really with a water cooling loop. This is really for extreme overclocking. People are putting hundreds of watts of power into their processor alone uh, versus only putting like 100 watts. They're putting maybe two or 300 watts into their power supply or into their processor. That's what this is for. We're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to look at an unboxing today because it's a little bit different. So I'm going to unbox it, show you all the stuff that comes with it. A uh, couple little screws, the nice little black uh, mounting screws for the back, the rubber vibration dampener or vibration silencer for the PSU. Those are kind of nice, even though this thing pretty much doesn't make any noise uh, from the testing that I did with it now. Check this out. This is the box that holds all your cables. Comes with a nice little pouch from Ultra, as you can imagine. And this is going to hold all your modular cables. Now, again, uh, most extreme power supplies are usually not modular, but this one is. So it's a unique design. Uh, it actually gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you all the great power, uh, a single rail design that produces over 100 amps of uh, plus 12 volt current. I mean, it's really impressive. Uh, and then, of course, it is modular, too, so you have a clean case design now. It's really important to note that this case is not ATX. This, is, uh, this PSU is not your standard size. It's actually bigger. So you have to make sure it fits your case. And I'll read you the dimensions of it right now. Let me pull this thing out of here. Look at the size of this. So basically, your basic dimensions, um, your length and width are fine. What's different is the, uh, this part. It's just longer, you know. Usually power supply is about here. This thing is really, really long. Now, just to give you an idea, uh, here are the dimensions for this thing, just so you know. It's 240 across, 150 wide, and it's 87 tall. And those are millimeters. So 240, 150, 87. Keep that in mind. Now, very, very nice system. Uh, big 135 millimeter fan for cooling. Um, it's actually really, really impressive. It's got integrated short circuit protection. It's got thermal overload uh, protection sensor. So if it gets too hot, it will automatically turn it off. It is 80 plus certified at the bronze level, which for a 1600 watt power supply uh, is absolutely incredible. Like I mentioned, uh, it is all modular. So everything you look at, look at the amount of plugs that it has because it's just ridiculous. It's got a 24 pin, an 8 pin. It's got nine Molexes. It's got 11 SATAs. It's got two floppy drives. It's got six six pin PCI Express. So triple SLI, no problem. Plus an additional three eight pin PCI Expresses. So you can do pretty much triple SLI with anything. This is all in the box. Very, very, very impressive. Uh, and then on top of all of that, it does have an additional fan for cooling um, on the back. So it's got an exhaust fan and an intake fan. Um, but ironically enough, it's really, really, really quiet. Until you get to about a thousand watts of continuous usage is when the fan starts to kick up above like, you know, like 1500 RPM. Before that, it's nearly silent. You cannot hear it. A 135 um, millimeter fan like this is going to spin really slowly. Usually under 1,000 RPMs, it's going to you know, move a lot of volume of air, a lot of CFM. It's not going to make a lot of noise. It's the whole purpose of having a bigger fan. So this is absolutely uh, ridiculous. Uh, very, very, very powerful. It's literally a single rail. Uh, there is not a multiple rail system on here. It's modular, 117 amps of plus 12 volt current can go through this. So that means you can power uh, just about anything. Three GTX 295s, if you could do that six-way SLI, it would work. Um, Basically, you just power whatever you want, though. Um, if you want to do it, this thing will do it extremely efficiently as well. The fact that it's bronze certified, it's pretty awesome. So uh, real quick, I just want to show you all the cables. Uh, and there's a big note here to users. Okay, Now, this is your regular cable. Here's the thing. This thing will do 1,200 watts plugged into a regular outlet. So it'll lower itself to 1,200 watts. And that's using a 120-volt 15-amp cable. This is 120-volt. 15 amp cable. It's really cool. It's got a built in breaker right over here. So, in case something were to really bad were to happen, uh, it would break. It does have a reset button. Uh, so, that's really convenient and really nice. And then here's uh, where it gets crazy. This is how you get all 1600 watts. This is absurd. Look at this. This is a 20 amp 120 volt cable. And this is what you need if you want to run all 1600 watts. You need to make sure that you have this plug. This is basically what you plug a refrigerator 
or a dishwasher or a uh, washer dryer. This is what the plug they use. This is what you need to get all 600 watts. It does not have the breaker in it. It is massive. This is a gargantuan cable. I can't even begin to tell you uh, how thick this cable is right in here. Uh, very. It's, a, it's actually a 12. It's a 3.31 millimeter uh, cable, so it's like 12 gauge. Very, very thick cable. Very nice. Um, so keep that in mind. If you want to run all 1600 watts, you got to run uh, the 20 amp cable, which is this one. And if you want to run 1200 watts, you run the 15 amp cable. Uh, will be more than sufficient. You do have a 24 pin uh, motherboard. It's another thing that's cool is that all these, all these cables are sleeved. And on top of being sleeved, they have uh, these little Velcro fasteners. And I've come to the realization lately that these, if you're going to be moving things around inside your case, but you still want to have nice cable management, very, very convenient to have these little Velcro cables. It's actually much better uh, than the zip ties that they provide you as well in case you're doing a permanent. But, you know, I'm always changing video cards. I'm always changing things around. And zip ties, you have to unclip them, and then it's a big mess. These are really convenient. You just pull them off, uh, and then you can actually show off Ultra, or if you don't want to, you just show the back, and it's all black. Uh, while I'm in this little area, might as well show you uh, the rest of the cables. So check this out, because there are quite a few. Wow, look at that. Absolutely ridiculous amount of cables. Um, it's just really impressive what they give you. This is all for one power supply. So uh, let's start off with these. These your Molex connectors. You're going to get nine of these. So you can hook up nine Molex devices, completely modular, uh, really easy to use, really easy to set up, uh, whatever you want. Here are your SATAs. Uh, so as far as SATAs, you're going to get 11. That means if you're building a server, this is a great power supply uh, for a very powerful all, you know, like pretty much an all-around PC. It's going to have a lot of storage and a lot of everything else, a gaming PC that has just tons of hard drives. Perfect, because you can have up to 11 hard drives. It's going to give you a pretty big array. Uh, more Molexes. Let's see, what else? Uh, floppy disk drives. You're going to get double two of these. And it's funny, because they're built in in combination. You have floppy, and then you have Molex on one end. So that's kind of uh, interesting. Fan connectors. You have a couple of these. You do have three of these 8-pin PCI Express connectors. Uh, so very uh, powerful connectors if you want to use some uh, GTX 295s or some 4870 X2s, some of those older cars that have 8 pins. You can definitely use these. Uh, you also get six pins, so don't worry about that. You get six of these, so basically triple SLI, no problem at all, right there. And there are six of those. And then uh, what am I missing? That's pretty much it. I got all the SATAs, six pin, eight pin, uh, Molex, PCIe, that's everything. So uh, very, very, very nice, big, huge power supply. Uh, very good extreme overclockers. If people are using the Thermaltake 1200 watt power supplies uh, for their extreme overclocking, uh, this is a new competitor, 117 amps on the 12-volt rail is very powerful, um, and it will produce a lot of power. Even 1,200 watts with the regular 15-amp cable is a lot of power. Um, and it's very clean, very efficient, uh, and it's going to give you a nice overclock. So really good stuff from Ultra. It's the uh, X4 1600 watt. If you have any questions on it, email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Ultra X4 1600 watt power supply, go to com.peter.tv and type in Ultra X4 1600W. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.